Hi, I'm Hadass, and in this tutorial, I'd like to share with you my ideas on adding motion to your Canva presentations. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how you can take your static slides and your presentations and make it visually more interesting and appealing by adding some motion to it. With Canva, you can do it very quickly, professionally easy, and with lots of fun. So let's go ahead and see how. I've just opened this template of a presentation and I'd like to show you the first thing that you can do to add some motion to it. Let's see how we can use the animations. Once you click on the background, you can go up here to the animate feature. Then I get this window with a page animations tab and an elements animation tab. The difference between the two is the page animations would apply on all the objects in your page. If you would like to apply the animation to all of your pages and have them all have the same animation, you just have to go down here and check mark the apply to all pages. If you wish to apply them per page, you can also do that. So for example, if I pick fade, all the objects in this certain slide will be appearing and disappearing using the fade animation. Now, if I go to the elements animation, I can pick one certain element, let's say for example, this white rectangle, and I can just apply any animation that I'd like. Some are free, some are pro. For example, neon would have a flickering effect. If I'd like to animate the photo, once I click on my photo, I have a photo animations tab. So let's say I want it to rise, and that's what it looks like. Now I can also animate my text. Once I click on my text box, you can see that the tab here changed to text animations. So again, I can just pick the animation that I'd like. So that's nice, but let me give you a very important tip. Don't use too many different animations in one slide. It might be more harmful than helpful. Use just enough to make your slide appealing to your audience. Now let's go to the next slide and see how interesting it can look if we just use one animation on our photo. Let's take this beautiful grid, click on that and go to animate. I'd like to share with you the photo flow and show you what happens. The photo flow animation makes my slide much more interesting when each photo in this photo grid comes up individually. Now let's go to the next slide and see what happens if we add some videos to our presentation. So this is a pretty slide with some static photos, but what would happen if I changed this static photo with a video? Let's go to the video tab and search for office. Let's look for something interesting we can add in there. Let's give this a try. Drag it and drop it. And there you go! Within one click, you added so much motion to your slide. Now we can just apply some more animations to our text boxes and continue. Now let's move on to the next page and see what more can we do with motion. On this page, I would suggest using some stickers. Animated elements can add a lot of motion and vibe to your slide. Let's go to Elements and let's search for Confetti. You have so many animated confettis here that I can add under this item, press C for confetti. So for example, if I'll go to this one, resize it a bit and put it on top of the C key. I think that's cute. Press C for confetti. I can do the same for a drum roll. Let's search for animated drum. And let's look for bubbles. Hmm. What do you say about that? I think this slide is much more interesting. So adding stickers to your presentation adds a lot of motion. I'd like to show you another way you can use stickers to not only add motions, but also a very nice focal point. So let's go to this page and this is talking about pre-recording our presentations anytime, anywhere. And I have these three great photos, but what if I delete them? And let's go to Elements. Under Elements, let's search for Record. And let's find here something that is animated. For example, this one. 
place it instead of the photo grid and there you go! A large dominant element can do a lot of good work for you in your presentations. And one more thing I'd like to share with you is to show you how you can add motion to your presentation with static objects only. No animations, no effects, no videos. And I would like to have these words revealed one after the other. The way I can do that is duplicate this page, let's say one, two, three times, or maybe even four since I have four different lines. So let's just go to duplicate and let's start deleting one word at a time. So we'll start with one word only on the first slide, then go to the second one and add one more. So I'll just delete the rest. Don't forget to delete everything. So also these rectangles. Let's go to page number three and page number four would have everything. So once clicked, on each click, another word will be added and revealed. So this also adds kind of emotion to your presentation, although everything we are doing is static. When using infographics or charts, you can always use the element animations, but let's make it a little more interesting. You can duplicate this page so you have it twice. Let's just duplicate it. Go to the first page and let's delete the gray guy. Let's say that we have only nine items and the filled items, which means the yellow little people, all yellow. So we have one slide with only nine and the second slide has the little gray man. So what you can do also here is go to this chart. Let's click on edit and let's slide this all the way to 100 so everything is yellow. Let's delete the percentage label and then we are going to discuss some kind of issue and once we click on the second page our little gray man is added and so is this pie chart. This creates some kind of a surprise momentum and anticipation and add a lot of interest to your static slides. On this slide I would like to share with you another idea about using videos to create motion in your slides. I have this beautiful grid here that I can either leave it as is, maybe add some animations, but I can also replace it with a very interesting background video. Let's delete this grid and go to the videos tab once more. Here we will search for devices. Since this slide is talking about accessing your presentation on any device, you will find here some very interesting videos that you can use. Let's see if I drag and drop this one for example. This looks nice, but the color scheme is not quite right. So let's look for other options. This one. This is quite nice, but it is a bit cluttered. So my text doesn't show very well and is quite unreadable. What I could do in this case is maybe add some transparency to this background. Let's see what it would look like. And there you go. This is quite interesting and although very transparent, adds motion, color and some more life to this slide. I'd like to share with you my number one goal tip when it comes to adding motion to your presentations. Now don't use motions just because you can. Always ask yourself whether your motion is attracting or distracting your audience. Use them wisely and you have a killer presentation.